Hello, my name is Hiwa Majid Zangana. I am assistant professor at Doha Polytechnic University in Kurdistan region of Iraq. Today, I'm going to talk about a topic that might be interested by the different fields of sciences, uh, not just the information technology uh, or computer science. So uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizing team of this conference for inviting me to be one of the speakers today. And also I wish this conference all the best and success. So let's start with the topic directly. My topic would be about the artificial intelligence, which I choose to talk about today for you. And there's a topic or a field in this artificial intelligence nowadays, uh, which is the, the next step called intelligent swarms or the swarm of intelligence. So first of all, I would like to tell you what's the swarm or what do we mean by swarm? Then we go to the swarm intelligence and how the intelligence start and we this level. So today I will show some methods of this swarm with some swarm robots and the applications. So here are some of things that we would like to talk about. First of all, what is the swarm? Swarm in nature is a decentralized collective of individuals that cooperate and moves as a unit to address an issue, such as food, defense, etc. So the swarm is meaning that living in groups, that's the short definition of swarm. So here we have the swarm intelligence which is released a number of agents that communicate with one another, even directly or either indirectly. So we will talk about all of them, but we go back again to the word or the term swarm in nature. We have many different sorts of self-organized swarm in the nature. You know, most of our ideas come from the nature. So we saw what is around us, then we took the idea and we tried to apply it in our sciences. So this idea also came from the nature. So we saw in the nature that the bat, how the bat live in groups. They fly together, they live together, and they work together into group, called swarm. So there's also the example of ant. There's the ant swarm. And we all see how uh, there's the kingdom of ants, uh, how there's uh, some of them are workers, some of them are bringing food, some of them are building, and so on in the kingdom of ants. So those are also living in groups. And this is the example of swarm of the ant. There is also the fish swarm, which can you see in this short movie, uh, the fish, how they live in this such a way to defend against any attack came to them. So we have also another example of butterfly swarm. How all those butterfly lives in groups and they work together. All of them are examples of 
the swarm in the nature. We have many other examples. For example, the wolf swarm. The wolves also live in groups. And you can see from this short video example how uh, they all go behind each other and they follow the guidance, which is the first one, who guide them through this way. So the intelligence itself starts from the first human, then came to the intelligent human nowadays. After that, the intelligent human created the robot. And now this is the last level, which is a group of robots. That's what intelligent reached today. So the smart intelligent in the computer sciences is the field of studying and designing efficient computational methods to solve problems using the behavior of real swarms. So uh, this is the main idea. We have many algorithms started from many years ago and still going on and finding some other algorithms. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of them. I don't want to go through the details, but just to get the idea from these algorithms, there are many swarm algorithms. So we have the swarm robots, which are today are uh, came to the real world and they are working together. For example, we have the uh, this example, a short video, showing you how those small robots, they will work together to rescue this child, to pull her and take her to another way or another place. Can you see, uh, if you notice, those robots, how they are trying to communicate and connect to each other, just for this case, to pull this child, as you see, now the operation will start. There are many applications of SWARP robots. They are used in war, in industrial, rescue, in farm, and many other applications. Just to make it short for you, I will show you some small examples. For example, in war, there is the single robot which is this one. And this uh, single robot used in the war, you can see how they are using it. It can enter the places and uh, record uh, videos and do many other things. We have also the swarm of robots which used in the world. For example, yeah. this one, which is called TCAT. It's, uh, as they call it, the future soldier. So, uh, they travel in swarms and attack any area or uh, specific place. And uh, they're very precise. And of course, it's more useful to use these robots because you can add many kind of weapons into it and they can attack precisely uh, the target. So we have also uh, the other application which is used in industrial uh, for the purpose of maintenance or for detecting errors or to fix those errors as well. Uh, as you can see, this uh, kind of operating of scanning so they can scan the whole machine 
by this mini robots and then the scan will be complete they get out from that machine we have also the rescue here is a simple example for you there is uh, here a rescue operation where this car is going fastly to get any hospital uh, sometimes this transportation may face some problems like for example here it faces a river or a place covered of water so as you can see these small items will link and connect to each other uh, those small boats just in order to make a bridge for the car to complete the operation of rescue as you can see after the bridge completed the car will go over it and the mission will be complete also there are some applications of farms uh, those other devices uh, are used for uh, make it easy the work in the farms and finally traveling in groups is more strength and safe when you travel in groups as this simple example for you those penguins when this shark attack them this is the simplest way to defend themselves and thank you very much for your listening my uh, thanks also to the conference and i hope i could make it as simple as possible thank you very much and good luck